This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News. The Associated Press reports the federal court in San Antonio has ordered Texas to hold its primary election on May 29th, resolving for now one of the biggest issues in the state's redistricting battles. The three-judge panel issued the election schedule two days after releasing political maps for Texas to use in the 2012 election. Legal disputes over the maps for congressional and House districts have kept Texas from holding elections. In the primary scheduled release Thursday, the filing period for candidates reopens on Friday and closes on March the 9th. County election officials will mail out voter registration cards on April 25th, and any runoff elections will be held on July the 31st. While the court order clarifies the election schedule, some minority groups complain that the election maps are unfair and are seeking changes. WFAA.com reports a West Texas elected official facing federal drug trafficking charges has quit after being released from jail. El Paso County Commissioner Willie Gandara, Jr. was freed Wednesday afternoon on $50,000 bond. Gandara then offered his resignation, which was accepted by County Judge Veronica Escobar. She'll name a replacement to complete Gandara's term, which runs through the end of the year. Gandara, who was elected in 2008, arrested February 22nd. He was charged with multiple drug offenses. WFAA.com reports a survey finds the retail gasoline prices across Texas have jumped a nickel in the past week. AAA Texas on Thursday reported the average price statewide has reached $3.57 per gallon. The association says gas prices nationally rose at a higher price, adding 13 cents to average $3.74 per gallon. Dallas had the most expensive gasoline in Texas this week at $3.59 a gallon. Amarillo had the least expensive price at the pump at $3.41. AAA says continued tensions in the Middle East have continued to pressure market crude oil prices, leading to concerns about future supplies. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News.